Hey Cookie fans, it's Angela from Bake Angel and today I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to decorate cookies with fondant. So you can see here I have a set of Lucky Charm cookie cutters, I have a cornstarch puff, some edible glue, obviously my cookies and some homemade marshmallow fondant as well. Now I'm going to pop all the links below for how to make the glue, how to make the fondant, and also the cornstarch puff as well. Those are key things that you need if you're going to cover some cookies with fondant. So as you can see, I've just gone ahead and I've dusted my surface with the cornstarch puff. I've given my marshmallow fondant a little bit of a knead just to warm it up in my hands. It's actually easier to roll it out if that fondant is a little bit warm as well. If yours is dry, you can pop it in the microwave for about five seconds just to warm it up a little bit. And then I'm using a small rolling pin with some guide rings on it just to make sure that my fondant will be an even depth. Now what I'm hoping to do here is actually cut out all of the fondant that we need in one go because I've actually got one of these multi cutters that I've printed myself which will give us everything that we need to cover all of these cookies. So giving it a really firm press down and a little bit of a shuffle as well that's going to help with the 3D cookie cutter because they're obviously not as sharp as metal ones but you can still get a really great edge on them if you've printed them properly. So now I'm going to move all that excess fondant away. You can roll it up and cover it up again to reuse it. And then we're going to take that off and you can see all our shapes. Don't they look great? And how simple was this? Now I should point out that I've actually not sped up this video at all because I want you to see how easy it is to do this in real time as well. So I'm just going around and picking up each of those pieces of fondant and tapping down the edges. So one thing you will notice when you cut fondant is that sometimes you get what I would call a little furry edge. And then just by smoothing it with your fingers, you can actually get that back to a really smooth edge, which will look perfect when you put it on the cookies as well. So now I'm just going to carry on doing that for the rest of them. I will speed this process up for you because you don't need to sit and watch me tidy up the rest of the fondant shapes. And then we will carry on and talk you through the process of attaching the fondant to the cookies. Okay, so our fondant shapes are all nicely smoothed off. The first thing we're going to do then is actually pop a little bit of edible glue onto each of our cookies to attach the fondant. Now, if you've never made edible glue before, it is super, super easy. You could, of course, just use water, but if you make edible glue instead, that's actually going to give it that little bit of tackiness that you need to ensure that that fondant won't fall off when it dries. And here I'm just using the fleshy part of the palm of my hand as a smoother. You could use a smoothing tool for this, absolutely, but why not use the heat from your hand instead? It is the perfect smoothing tool for fondant. So just going back and forth over it, holding that cookie lightly, and you can see that's it. How simple was that? So quick, took no time at all, and it looks perfect, doesn't it? We're gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the cookies as well. So whilst I'm doing that, let's talk about the benefits of using fondant over royal icing. Now I know that fondant has a bit of a bad name because of the flavor of it, and a lot of people just do not like it. If you make marshmallow fondant instead, you'll find that most people will actually like the flavor of it as opposed to regular store-bought fondant because it just tastes like marshmallow and who doesn't like them? So when you mix that together with icing sugar and a little bit of shortening as well, you can create the most amazing fondant that is great for covering cakes and of course, as you see here, really easy to use on cookies as well. So in terms of why I like to use this instead of royal icing, well one thing it means that you're not having to make it royal icing, which can be quite an expensive icing to make if you like to use meringue powder, but also you don't have issues with the drying time that you do have with royal icing. It's less affected by humidity as well, and if you want to paint it afterwards and decorate it, you absolutely can do that as well. You could just go ahead and wait for that fondant to crust over and then paint it with your edible markers. You could paint it with add in a clear alcohol to dust as well. 
the options are completely endless when it comes to fondant decorating and don't forget of course that you could just color your fondant before you roll it out as well as i say there are so many things that you can do with it and it is really really versatile for using on cookies as well so we are halfway through with getting our cookies decorated with our fondant again as you can see i'm using that fleshy part of my hand to smooth it into place and it's as simple as that i mean i think if i was decorating these with royal icing it would take me a lot longer to actually go and do all of the details for the lucky charm cookies that i'm decorating here i do actually have a video showing what the lucky charm cookies look like when they're decorated so i'll pop the link to that above and you can go and check that out and I think what we'll do now is we'll actually speed up the rest of the decorating process and then we'll just come back and talk about storage at the end. So we're on to our last cookie here and I just wanted to address how you would actually package something like this up. So again, where it's different to raw icing, you don't have to wait quite as long for it to dry. You can package these up as you would with regular cookies in heat sealable bags. Um, you could pop them on a tray and cling wrap that as well. What you will find is that you don't need to refrigerate these. If you are giving them to someone that prefers to refrigerate them, then you would just let them know to not actually touch the fondant when they take it out of the fridge because it does have a tendency to sweat a little bit with that change of temperature. And that's how easy it is to cover cookies with fondant. I really hope you found this useful. Make sure you check out this playlist for some other cookie decorating tutorials and also take a look at the Lucky Charm video as well so you can see how I decorated those with edible markers just to give you an idea of how you could finish these cookies off. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.